A crystalline solid possesses a rigid and long-range order. In a crystalline solid, atoms, molecules, or ions occupy specific positions. An amorphous solid does not possess a well-defined arrangement and long-range molecular order. A unit cell is the basic repeating structural unit of a crystalline solid. At the lattice points, we find atoms, molecules, or ions. There are seven types of unit cells. Simple cubic, tetragonal, orthorhombic, rhombohedral, monoclinic, triclinic, and hexagonal. There are three types of cubic cells. The simple cubic, body-centered cubic, and face-centered cubic. In body-centered cubic, an atom resides within the cell. With face-centered cubic, there is an atom in each face of the cell, and there are six faces in a cube. Here's an arrangement of identical spheres in a simple cubic cell. Notice that in the corners of the unit cell, there is one-eighth of an atom. Here's the arrangement for a body-centered cube. Not only is there an eighth atom in each corner, there's a whole atom in the center. Here we have a corner atom and a face-centered atom. In a simple cubic cell, there is one atom per unit cell. Eighth of an atom in each corner times eight corners makes one atom. Body-centered, there are two atoms per unit cell. Again, the eight in the eighth in a corner, eight of them, plus the one in the center equals two. In a face-centered cube, there are four atoms per unit cell. The corner ones, the six faces, each with a half atom in the face, for a total of four. Here's a picture of the unit cell for sodium chloride. Ionic crystals have lattice points occupied by cations or anions. Held, they are held together by electrostatic attraction. They are hard, brittle, and have high melting points. They are poor conductors of heat and electricity. Covalent crystals, the lattice points are occupied by atoms. Held together by co covalent bonds, they are hard and have high melting points. They are poor conductors of heat and electricity. Notice the carbon atoms in the diamond and the graphite. Molecular crystals have the lattice points occupied by molecules. They are held together by intermolecular forces. They are soft and have low melting points. They are poor conductors of heat and electricity. Metallic crystals have the lattice points occupied by metal atoms. They are held together by a metallic bond. They vary from being soft to hard and from having low to very high melting points. They are all good conductors of heat and electricity. Here's a cross-section of a metallic crystal. 